Hi everyone, so in this video I just want to show you how to make a little foldable that can help you um, study each of these quadrilaterals and their definitions and what we know about their diagonals as well. So just get any regular size paper and fold it hot dog style, but not quite halfway if you want to put a little title like I did, quadrilaterals, and then basically cut four, sorry, six flaps. So just cut about almost halfway so that you make a little flap here. And then these are the six we're going to talk about. Um, so let's start with parallelograms. Parallelograms, by definition, are just opposite sides are parallel. Um, so in order to prove that, you'll need to find the slopes because these slopes are the same and these slopes are the same. And then their diagonals bisect each other. So to prove that, you would find the midpoints of the two diagonals. So feel free to pause the video and write this on your own organizer. Next, we've got rectangles. A rectangle by definition is just all congruent angles. They're all right angles. So to prove that, you would again need slopes because the slopes have to be opposite reciprocals. With the diagonals, the diagonals are congruent. So you would find the links of the two diagonals. For a rhombus, a rhombus by definition is all congruent sides. So to prove that, you'd find all four side links, prove that those links are the same. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. They form a right angle. So to prove that, you would need to find the slopes again because they would have to be opposite reciprocal slopes. A square is all of the above. It's a rhombus, a rectangle, and a parallelogram. So you'd have to do all of those things. It's got congruent angles and congruent sides. So you would find the links and the slopes. Um, the diagonals are both congruent and perpendicular. All right, so these two are not necessarily parallelograms. A trapezoid is just one pair of parallel sides. Whoops. So again, you just find the slopes, prove that those two slopes are the same. We don't really know anything about its diagonals. And then a kite looks like a kite. It's got two pairs of congruent sides that are adjacent or next to each other. So like those two are congruent and these two are congruent. And so to prove that, again, find the links. A rhombus is actually a special version of a kite because it does have two pairs of uh, congruent sides that are adjacent. And so like a rhombus, its diagonals are perpendicular. They make a right angle, just like the bars like in a kite would. So that is the six quadrilaterals we're going to talk about.